Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Joachim Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today's Thursday, May 16th, 2024, and here are the readings for today. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 23 through 31. In those days when the apostles were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders said to them. And when they heard it, they lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who didst make the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them, who by the mouth of our father David, thy servant, did say, by the Holy Spirit, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples imagine vain things? The kings of the earth set themselves in array, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. For truly in this city there were gathered together against thy holy servants Jesus, whom thou didst anoint, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever thy hand and thy plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look upon their threats, and grant to thy servants to speak thy word with all boldness, while thou stretchest out thy hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of the holy servant, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and spoke the word of God with boldness. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 5, verses 24 through 30. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming, when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own authority, as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. I don't know if you have been to an Orthodox funeral service, outside of Pascha anyway, but if you have, you have been given all sorts of really powerful images about the nature of death, its, well, aura of confusion, its aura of concern, its aura of, well, perspective speaks about having to make a choice between the things of this world and the things of the next world it really does tend to become a binary choice. Do we care about the clamor of household servants? Do we care about the gold and the silver? Do we care about being a king? Goodness, do we even care about being a beggar? Are these things the things that we consider important in our lives? Or is there something else? So when we hear today's gospel, it's actually the gospel that we read during the funeral service, found in the Gospel of John, where our Lord is talking about what kind of power and authority that he has and how he can wield it. He says, those who hear my words and believe in the one who sent him, the Father, has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. And then he says, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. And those who are here will live, for as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man, that prophetic, apocalyptic personification of the one who comes to judge. He says that now the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear the voice of the Son and come forth. 
and those who've done good to the resurrection of life, meaning the resurrection of eternal life, and to those who've done evil to the resurrection of judgment, which means punishment. And then he says, I could do nothing on my own authority as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. So this, again, this great passage is found right in the heart of our funeral service. And there we are reminded that we must indeed follow after Christ and put away all the things, all the worldly cares that can bog us down. We live in a time that is so saturated with material desires and, and a wish for peace and security and all of those things. None of that peace, security, none of that comes without Jesus Christ. None of that comes through our own efforts. And even still, security is nothing that is guaranteed to us until everything is restored anew in the next life, not in this one. The road towards salvation is paved with way too many martyrs for us to have that naive idea that somehow if we follow after God, everything's going to go our way. No, if we follow God, we can be assured that he will never abandon us and that he will bring us to salvation. But in the meantime, we may find ourselves suffering with great difficulty. These are sober comments. And they are a reminder, just like everything else within the funeral service, just how tenacious, how ferocious our faith needs to be. To be able to withstand all the temptations, all the, the things that come to us throughout the world. We have that opportunity, we have that ability, but we must do it in a way that is unflinching and unwavering. We must follow after the sun and following him we indeed will have the light of life and indeed will journey from this life to the next into that very resurrection of life. Well, I hope you have a good day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. In the meantime, God bless you and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.